So yesterday I showed how we can create a very simple um, node and do a basic rotation in the X. I'm going to show a different way of uh, doing the same thing. So I've um, got uh, Houdini open here. I'm going to add a geometry node as before. Go into the geometry node and delete that. And then I'm going to add a very simple um, platonic solid there. Um, I'm using Phil's creation desk here, so press P, that gives us the options. Um, we just create a very simple teapot there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an attribute. So um, you'll see a node here called attribute create. I'm just going to add that there and wire that into the platonic. And what that does is it allows us to create new attributes um, that are not already part of the um, geometry we've got already. And in this case, I'm just going to use this to create um, a, an attribute, and I'm going to call it rot x there, and rot x there. And we're going to use the default value. So at the moment that it's of type point, um, it's float, size 1, so it's only a single parameter, it's a single floating point value. Um, and there's our value in there. And later on, we'll use this in our Python script to access um, that data and use it for the rotation value. So now that's there, we'll just get rid of that panel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a Python node. I'm going to plop that down there. And I'm going to wire the geometry into the first input and I'm going to wire this into the second input uh, like that. And then if we click on the geometry um, on the Python node and press P, you can see that we've got our panel here with our Python code that we're going to add into um, uh, do stuff. And you can see that already um, Houdini has added some uh, basic stuff there. So node equals um, present working directory geometry equals node.geometry. So that's just saying, this is the current node, grab that. Um, so to start with, we're going to create a matrix. Um, the Houdini API has a matrix um, already um, built in. So I'm going to say um, rot x equals who dot. And you can see there it's coming up with suggestions of matrix. And there is a constructor to this matrix that if we pass in a single value, what that's going to do is set the diagonals of the identity matrix um, to that value. So in this case, if I say 1, that will create that. Um, there's also a um, method that you could call instead called set to identity, which does exactly the same thing, but we won't uh, use that um, now. We'll just take that there. Um, the other thing I want to do um, before I start going, because we're going to use the rotation matrix um, as before, we need to do cos and sine in our code. So we need to uh, use the Python mathematics functions. So I'm going to import math, which will load in the math functions, which we can access um, a little later. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to get access to the um, attribute that we had earlier on. And one of the easiest ways of sort of finding out about stuff in the Python node is if we select the node and just drag it in, you can see there that the um, node has now become an element of uh, code. So what I'm going to say there is that deg equals and then who.node, and this is the path to that node there. So there are multiple ways of accessing this data. In this case, I'm just going to use uh, this. I will um, write a post um, at another time of various other ways of accessing data within the Python node. And then I'm going to say theta equals math.radians, and we're going to evaluate that parameter. Um, to get um, 
the, the value from the attribute and basically we're going to turn it into radians because cos and sine need radians rather than degrees and it's always easier for us to think in degrees. So deg is my node and what we need to do is evaluate the p parameter so we do deg.eval param and in this case the, the value is um, value 1 v1 so that's just the value from the vector um, number 1 there so we evaluate that param and we um, sorry I'm just going to save that um, and then we um, should have a value for theta now I'm going to create two extra variables I'm going to say cos theta equals cos sorry math dot cos and I'm going to put theta in there and I'm going to say sine theta equals math dot sine theta as we're going to use this a couple of times it just speeds up evaluation if we pre-calculate that value so it's a, a, a sort of basic optimization that we can put in there next what I want to do is to go through and set the individual matrix elements. So the matrix um, starts at 0, 0 in the um, top left hand corner. So this element there is 0, 0. And then as we go along, um, we set for row, column. So this is going to be 1, 1, 1, 2. And this is going to be 2, 1, 2, 2. So those are the elements of the matrix I want to set. So I can say rot x dot set at which is the method to set them one comma one comma cos theta I can say rot x dot set at and then I can say one comma two comma minus sine theta rot x dot set at um, two comma one comma sine theta and rot x dot set at two comma two comma cos theta so now what we've done is we've evaluated some python um, to create a matrix set the individual values within the matrix so what i want to do next is to evaluate um, the points in our node and start to um, modify them so again, we're going to use a loop now. So we're going to say for point in geo dot points. So what that does is it gives us an individual point for every point in our geometry that's being input. And then what we're going to say is um, pos equals point dot position. So we're going to grab the point position. Then we're going to say pos is equal to pos times rot x. So we're going to multiply that position by our matrix. And then we're going to say point dot set position. And we're going to put in pos there. So that's a very basic piece of Python code. What should happen now that if we evaluate this and make that active, I appear to have an error in my code somewhere. So I'll just go in middle mouse click and see what I've got. It says geometry not cooked. Um, attribute swap node object has no attribute eval param. So I've got something wrong in my code there. Um, oh, I've just misspelt. It should be eval palm not Ram. So just save that back and go and see what my next error is. A few typos in there. Um, swap node object has nothing about palm. I still have a typo in my code. And that should be eval par p a r m. There we go. I save that now. Hopefully, I haven't got any more errors. Still a few errors. Sine theta is not defined. Um, oh, 
another typo. Save that. Ah, finally. So now I have my uh, teapot there, as you can see. Um, and at the moment, my um, teapot's at rest. If I grab my um, value here, we should now be able to rotate it. As you can see, that's not working quite correctly. So I have, again, another issue with my Python code. By the looks of that, I have set one of my attributes in either the wrong position or I've evaluated something slightly wrong. So I should have set out 1, 1, cos theta, 1, 2, minus sine theta, 2, 1, sine theta, 2, 2, cos theta. And then I go through, pause points position, pause, pos times rot x, point dot set position, pause. Very odd. I can't see exactly what I've got wrong there at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab an already existing piece of code that I know works, um, which I will um, put into um, my um, link for this video. So let's just grab this code. It's a slightly more up-to-date version. Um, not entirely sure what I did wrong there. Now let's have a look and see whether that works when I evaluate. Ah, there you go. So the code's correct there. I must have made a typo when I was doing my code. So a very, very simple um, video just demonstrating that in action. So say there are multiple ways of um, accessing the code. I'm going to do a more in-depth write-up of some of this um, as we um, as I go along and, and write some more. And there'll be a tutorial on my blog eventually. So for example, we should be able to have an optimization where we say pos times equals rot x, um, which should do exactly the same thing and um, make our code um, slightly quicker um, because of the way Python evaluates things. So there's lots of things that we can do. So say I will write this up in more detail and put these online when I get a chance.